What's going on there, YouTube? <gasps> the thing with Twisted 420 has returned. That's right, people. We are back. How's everybody doing? That's right. It's Friday. It's TGIF in this bitch. And today we got something kind of simple for you, but something really, really cool. Now, it's no secret that one of my favorite mesh sub ohm tanks comes from a company called Freemax. That's right, people. Today we are taking a gander at the Freemax quad coil mesh coils. That's right, people. The quad coil meshes. Now, I've been testing these for a bit. We also got some new tank finishes that we're going to talk about. All kinds of good stuff. But yeah, what we're here to talk about is this new quad coil. And let me tell you, pretty fucking impressive. We've been testing it for about a month and a half. We're going to go through. I'm going to show you everything up close. We're going to break. Well, we're not going to break anything down, honestly. But we're going to talk about it. And I'm going to let you know my results. And uh, let you know if I feel this is the rowdiest mesh coil on the market at the moment. Okay, people? And so without digging around too much, let's go ahead and just take a quick look at everything, why don't we? All right, and here we are. Just got a couple little things to show you. For one, you can see, you got these new, there's the old stuff with the resin. And then they got this new carbon fibre situation going on. Coming out with some new finishes and stuff. Man, I gotta say, I can't tell you how much this tank has been used. I've used it so much. This is a real long-term investigation. But, um, yeah, let me show you guys. Yeah, there's nothing to show you here. Same stuff came in the other one. But let me show you guys these guys. This is a three pack of the Canthal Quad Coil Mesh 0.15, 80 to 120 watts. Seems like 0.15 is a sweet spot for mesh. It could be quad, it could be single, it doesn't matter. But yeah, you come in a three pack. And you know what? I can't, look at that, I'm not even in focus. I can't show you shit like this, people. To look a little bit closer, we must further dive down into macro mode. Uh, all right, and here we are up close with the quad mesh, mesh pro, lot of wicking, whole lot, lot more wicking all the way around on this one versus uh, the OG. So you're gonna see one, two, three, four slots here, and we got motherfucking like 20 here. See what I'm saying? You can easily see that that's like 20. Okay, so let's look in here. And we got that freaking honeycomb kind of pattern for this mesh. This isn't like traditional strip of mesh, screen door style. This is the honeycomb style that you see once you go to triples and, and quads with mesh and so forth. But yeah, there it is. There are four coils in there, cold chilling cold chilling and now that I've shown you this coil up close and you've seen the the wicking slots and all the creamy goodness let's talk about what it's been like to vape all right folks so you saw things I showed you stuff per se now the question is twisted how the fuck does it vape I gotta say I am very very impressed with what's going on inside these coils, okay? Very, very impressed. I'm gonna tell you what's been going on with mine, okay? So, to date so far, I've been keeping up with this very closely. I've had 11 refills on this tank, and just to mix things up and really test these coils, I've switched the flavor three times, just to see how it would bounce back, how it would react. Primarily, I've been testing it at different wattages and everything, but my sweet spot for these coils is 85 watts. Now that's up there a bit, it's inefficient, but I got a feeling they can handle more, and I know that they can handle more because I've been testing them. But let me have a toke real quick. 85 watts, just a quick little baby tip. <sighs> Flavor is coming through so loud and clear. Wicking is not an issue. Now let's 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 raise the stakes a little bit. We're gonna go from 85 to 95 watts and we're just gonna keep rising just a hair every so bit all right so 95 watts on this bad boy it's nice man it's nice and here's the thing before we keep going up and watching and stuff we talk about it i like i like uh, i don't know i got I, i'm like a dr jekyll and mr hyde i like efficient stuff I like when you can only have to run like 50, 60 watts or something. You get good battery life, you get, good, get a good satisfying vape, that's cool. But I always keep a rowdy son of a bitch with you. It's like, you know, when you're out and about with your homies, you always got that one dude you notice down the, th you know what I mean? 
and that is this quad coil mesh for me. He is down to throw down in whatever scenario. I like rowdy shit. That's my cup of tea. And when I want that, this gives it to me. Now the flavor on par with the singles, the duels, and the triples, everything else that uh, Freemax has made so far, but the ferocity of the vape. Let's go ahead and bump her up to 105 watts, people. And let me tell you, these 20 something Wiccan channels, they make a difference at this wattage. Dense, thick, milky clouds with no inclination of a dry hit. Okay? These, this thing's wicking like a champion. And I am using Max VD liquid in here. All right, so that's 105 watts, man. Getting kind of crazy. Let's go ahead and take it to 115. Then finally, we will end with 120. Now, all this isn't necessary to get a good vape, but damn it, some people like some strong shit, and I'm one of those people. So, if you're one of those people who aren't crazy mouth to lung, shout out to the mouth to lung people and all that. Yeah, you guys like whatever you like, that's fine. But there is a neglected subculture of bros who need that airflow like me. No, nah, we're not neglected. They have whole cloud comes dedicated to us and stuff. But anyway, 115 watts. <laughs> Cumulus clouds in this bitch. Nimbus clouds, if you will. Let's go ahead and take it to 120, man. We might as well. All right, 120 watts. Let's go ahead and get it. Now, people, where'd you go? Wait, you go. Keep in mind, the higher, it's just like a car. You start modifying a car, and this isn't always the case, but it's sometimes the case. You start doing heavy engine mods, tunes, doing a lot of stuff. That same car, and you're still on the same stock block, that engine may not last as long as if you would have left it stock. Same thing with vaping these guys at 120 watts compared to 85 that I normally vape them at. They're rowdy, they're doing the trick, it's fucking, it's a bit much, I gotta, I'm getting a little nicked here. but. But it can do it. You can do it. You're just gonna, it's just gonna wear down the longevity. You see what I'm saying? But fuck it. As long as we're in this bitch party, let's go ahead and go to 135 watts. I don't give a fuck. Just so you can see, uh, you probably can't see, but it's 135 watts. There's no need to lie to you. These are all scientific tests. So warm. So warm. So dense. So thick, you can watch the clouds just gravity just pull those heavy fuckers down. They're so dense. So yeah, man, this may not be everybody's cup of tea, but for those people who like rowdy shit, Freemax's new quad coil is the truth. I'm a strong believer in it. And next month, we're gonna have some best of awards. And not like last year, this time it's gonna be different than ever before. And I can tell you, Freemax is gonna make the list in regards to sub ohm tanks, okay? But that's what I got for you people. Unfortunately, I, I looked all over the internet. These are not in stock in most places. They're coming out. They've been working on these things for months. I found a freaking post on ECF where back in August, they were like, hey, we're finally bringing the world's first quad coil mesh to the market and everything. I think there's been some since then, but they've been working on it for a while. Uh, I gotta say the finished product is good and when these are available to buy if you have a Freemax mesh pro You owe it to yourself to get some of these new coils, okay? And that's what this video was about today people just a little ramble tell you about these new guys and vape at ridiculous wattage Fuck me I'm a little lightheaded. But anyway people links. Oh, well, fuck there really isn't too many links to put in the description But anyway <laughs> Thank you for watching truly do appreciate it you guys are awesome if you like this video leave me a like dislike it dislike it. it's what else but i am remembering to remind you so that's worth something remember doesn't matter what the fuck you're vaping on even if it's at 50, 40 watts or 135 watts as long as you're not on them gosh darn stinkies that's what's fucking important i'm sick of you and last but not least <laughs> you stay sexy youtube me and this quad coil mesh review we're out